Hello everyone and welcome! In this video I'm going to be explaining primary forces and how you balance out primary forces in engines. Now if you haven't already watched my video on engine balancing, you may want to check that out first. So, primary forces. Well, what are these? Well, basically primary forces in your engine come from reciprocating components and these occur one time per revolution of the crankshaft. So, here we have a four-cylinder engine, um, and you can see the pistons are going to be moving up and down. So the main uh, factor that goes into your primary forces is the reciprocating uh, inertia of your piston. So in a four-cylinder engine, you're going to have two pistons, the ones on each end, going up, while two pistons in the center are going down, and then that will reverse. And the, the reason you do this is to balance out the inertia of these pistons. So what does this look like? Well, cylinders one and four, if you look at that, um, here we've got a graph of the force, the vertical force, uh, versus the crank rotation. So as this mass moves up, these two cylinders here move up, these two pistons, then the force is going to go up and then back down, and then up and then back down. So those two are going to combine and have this great inertia force going in a certain direction. On the other hand, these two are doing the exact opposite. So at that same point in time, their inertia force is down, and then up, and then down, and then up. And so your net force is a neutral, zero vertical force uh, between just these pistons that's completely evened out, so you're going to have a balanced engine uh, on its, with its primary forces balanced. Now, what if you have just a single cylinder engine? Well, a single cylinder engine is going to have that one piston moving up and down, and so that force is going to be going up and down, and there's nothing really to counteract that. And so that's why you're going to use a counterweight on the crankshaft. So as this piston moves down, that counterweight is going to rotate up, and it's going to have a vertical force up, and then as it moves up, the counterweight is going to rotate down and have that uh, downward force. So here's going to be your piston right here, and that's the force, the, the inertia from that piston moving up and down. And then here you have your counterweight, um, and you can see it does the exact opposite in the vertical plane. So your net force is going to be just neutral uh, zero, and so you're going to have a, an engine that's not vibrating. Well, the problem with just having a single cylinder is that this is going to go to the left and right as well as it rotates, so you won't be balanced in that direction, but you will have the vertical forces balanced out. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.